Hi, everybody. Okay, time for Aries. Aries, I'm going to read, um, do a quick reading for you for the entire year of 2021. All wrapped up in four little cards. I've already shuffled, so I'm just cutting the deck. I kept calling the Aquarians the babies of the zodiac, but I was wrong. It's you, Aries. You guys know, but you're very zazzy and exciting um anytime you get around in aries there's some fun going on reversed hierophant nine of cups eight of pentacles six of cups aries this year you guys are the lucky ones there's going to be some beautiful wonderful and highly nostalgic occurrences. So you're starting off the year with the Hierophant in reverse. You know, it seems like you've had to make some sacrifices prior to the start of 2021. And during that period of time, I think that you really got to know who you actually are. Um, you didn't really lose anything that was actually yours. But you are starting to recognize, you know, baby of the zodiac that you are, that sharing, blending, cooperation, um, merging ideas, and, um, you know, allowing yourself to overlap into another person's li life or in an organization um, where you can really settle in that those kinds of things don't have to be scary and that you can find some joy and happiness and balance in them. And I know this because by the time spring comes, you're showing up as the Nine of Cups. I mean, things are joyful and fulfilling, you know. Maybe they're not taking off and skyrocketing by then, but certainly the possibility of it in the summer is still there. Um, so, if you are branching out in the springtime, say you're branching out, the word branding is coming to mind, but um, maybe, you're, maybe you work in sales and you are starting to get attached to a certain brand that you're representing, or um, if this has to do with love, there are a lot of people in your life that you're finding that you're really happily supporting them emotionally um, or being there for them and it feels good and you like it and you're happy to do it. Um, and you're glad that you have, that you're not the one who needs the hand anymore. Someone else needs the hand and you can give it. It's a nice feeling. It's like, hey, I'm growing up world. <laughs> Um, so by the summer, you're seeing that all of that good karma that you have been um, happily swimming about in is also now starting to show up in your pocketbook and in your physical life. So by the summer, you can certainly expect that business will be booming and money will be flowing better than it was before. I mean, it's, it's basically moving along in an upward fashion, even as the year is closing out. Um, by the end of this year, if, you ha if you're not already with a really wonderful soulmate for you, be it a love soulmate or just a really special and important friendship, um, you know, expect that you will, before the end of the year, find yourself with a person that fits that description. Um, along with <laughs> many blessings with money. I just want to pull one more card for you too as we get closer to your solar year, reverse queen of wands. Yeah, so you're almost there. I feel like, you know, this year is a lot of growth for you. By the time your birthday rolls around, you're going to be in that nine of cups energy. And then by the time you reach your next birthday in 2022, um, you're represented by the Queen of Wands showing up in reverse, meaning you're just about there. You're really very much um, coming into your own. You know, it doesn't even matter what age you are. It's because you're in the age of Aquarius, because it is the time it is on the planet. 
it has a different impact on all the signs and you're just in an upward growth pattern and a lot of positivity in that honestly i'm gonna leave it at that i love giving a positive message that makes me happy i hope that it makes you happy too namaste <laughs>